Welcome Theater Addicts. My name is Raya Jean and I am at the 2018 Vancouver Fringe Festival in front of the False Creek Theater about to review Virginia Jack. Virginia Jack is a comedy duo consisting of a man and a woman and it's an all ages comedy improv play. Uh, they are basing a play off of an audience suggestion. I am very curious to see how this is going to work. This is actually my first 2018 Fringe show and it's also my first improv show, at least my first live improv show. Um, I think I tend to put improv in the same category or at least on the same shelf as stand-up comedy and I'm not a big fan of stand-up comedy. Um, I don't tend to like things that are intentionally funny. I think I tend to like things that are unintentionally funny. Um, so perhaps improv uh, is going to slide nicely into that vein for me. Um, I'm not going to say I'm excited because I don't really get excited, but I am very curious. And so let's go inside and let's get weird. Okay, first impressions. Virginia Jack. That was Virginia Jack, the opening night at the 2018 Vancouver Fringe Fest. Um, that crowd cheering up there is not the crowd that was cheering for Virginia Jack. Um, <laughs> I think when I saw them, they said there was 70 seats still available. Um, it was not a packed house. There was barely anyone there. Uh, I mean, there were a few of us. Um, and as I was mentioning in my intro video, this was my first um, improv, live improv show ever. Um, so I might be a bit biased. Um, I think I was a little bit over optimistic. I'm not sure, maybe because of what I was reading about their last show, Orange is a New Blank. I think I was a little bit over optimistic, maybe because it was my first 2018 Vancouver Friends show, it was opening night, and I'd read good things about Virginia Jack's uh, pri one of their prior shows, Orange is a New Blank, but um, I, I don't want to spoil it either, but I might spoil it a bit, but I didn't find it that funny. But I was very nervous for them, actually. When they started, um, they were sort of dressed in plain clothes. It was a simple set, um, as Fringe tends to be. So I think I was expecting a lot more. Um, I was very, very nervous for them. So the premise, and this I guess is a spoiler, is they base a one-act play off of a single audience suggestion. And so what they do is they ask people in the crowd to shout out, you know, where do you want this play to take place? Um, and we're going to be there for the next 40 minutes. So um, some of the, and so maybe it was the audience suggestions that were a bit lame. Somebody said a winery, another person said a beach, somebody said a Detroit meth lab, which probably may have been a little bit more interesting than what ended up happening. So they ended up going with, um, a Russian American space station um, so it was a little bit of like your Captain Kirk character um, there was a female character and they kept swapping characters which was kind of cool uh, I thought the spacesuit section was probably the funnier section where they had the guy Sean uh, and he was talking to himself he was going from character to character so they would kind of swap places so that was really cool. Um, I thought the whole concept was cool. I thought the premise was interesting. It didn't seem very art house inspired to me. Um, I guess I was thinking maybe it'd be like a friend, a sort of improv um, seventh <laughs> seal or something, even though that's totally ridiculous. But I was expecting it to be a little bit more experimental than I think it ended up being. Um, but I'm biased. As I said, I'm not a big, comedy person. I'm not a comedy nerd by any chance, by any means. So that's my first impression standing out here in the dark. Um, the Granville Island location, just so you know, they do not serve coffee after dark. Uh, we walked around a lot and all there was was were bars and um, closed restaurants. So it's a little bit of a frustrating location. I kind of wish it was a little bit more central. So uh, but this is my first Fringe show. We'll see how it goes. Now that I'm home and I've had a little bit of time to digest uh, the Virginia Jack show, I think I just have a few closing thoughts. I think what it really boils down to is that the description in the Fringe brochure 
was not accurate. Um, there wasn't anything particularly LGBTQ about the show. And as I mentioned in my uh, first impressions video right after the show, there wasn't anything very art house about it or experimental or particularly absurd or weird. I think those were the wrong adjectives to use. The show itself was pretty tame. Um, it was a very ambitious show. Um, the performers were clearly skilled actors and improvers, but they didn't seem to have a lot of energy. It seemed very lacking in enthusiasm. Um, a lot of the jokes didn't land very well. Um, there was some awkwardness. There was meandering sort of dialogue, especially towards the end. It seemed to start out stronger and um, there were very few laughs from me, although I sort of expected that. Again, I'm not a big comedy person. Um, there were two people who even left halfway through, which I thought was uh, uncalled for. Uh, it's only, what did they say, 40 minutes <laughs> on this, that we spent on this planet. Um, but overall, uh, a very ambitious idea that just didn't seem to land. This is Raya Jean signing off finally for the night. Um, be sure to subscribe to the Theatre Addicts YouTube channel and look for more videos from moi and the other addicted theatre goers. Good night.